Chapter 1 Introduction to Economics Chapter Outline 1.1 Introduction Economic Progress of a Human Being 1.2 Meaning and Definition of Economics Adam Smith, Dr. Alfred Marshall, Professor Lionel Robbins 1.3 Importance of study of economics Intellectual value Practical purpose Government bodies Learning outcome After reading this chapter, you will be able to understand Stages of economic development of man Meaning and definitions of economics Need and importance of the study of economics 1.1 Introduction Economics is a subject which you will be studying in the 9th standard for the first time. In these few chapters, let us get acquainted with the subject which is considered to be an important social science. Economist Professor P. A. Samuelson has called economics as the queen of social sciences. Economic Progress of a Human Being Man is a social animal and economics is an important branch of social science. Therefore, economics studies man's economic behavior in the society. This economic behavior started right from the evolution of man. In prehistoric period, man wandered from one place to another to satisfy his wants. During those days, human wants were limited and could be fulfilled from various natural resources freely available in nature. For example, caves to stay, leaves for clothes, etc. As man started progressing, his wants multiplied. Necessity is the mother of invention. So man started to discover and invent various ways by which his wants could be satisfied from the available resources. He slowly started to exchange goods for goods which was later known as the barter system. With the advent of money, it transformed into trade. This evolution brought about socio-economic development in the economy. In short, economics is the study of how people choose to use resources like time, money, labor, land, equipment, etc. effectively. Economics examines how people use limited or scarce resources to satisfy their unlimited wants. 1.2 Meaning and Definition of Economics Meaning Economics developed as a separate study dealing with various economic aspects of human behavior in the society. The term economics is derived from the Greek word oikonomia meaning household management. Household management and economics have many similarities. Definitions Economics has been defined by various economists as follows. Adam Smith Adam Smith is considered the father of economics. In his book, Wealth of Nations, published in 1776, he describes economics as a science of wealth. His definition of economics is a wealth-oriented definition. Dr. Alfred Marshall Dr. Alfred Marshall, in his book, Principles of Economics, published in 1890, explains economics as a science which studies human welfare. And hence, his definition of economics is known as welfare-oriented definition. Professor Lionel Robbins In 1932, Professor Lionel Robbins' book, an essay on the nature and significance of economic science explained economics is a science 
which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. This is the modern definition of economics. His definition is characterized as scarcity-oriented definition of economics. 1.3 Importance of Study of Economics Today, economics is considered to be one of the most important branch of knowledge. Economics is applicable in a wide range of fields including agriculture, business, finance, administration, law, local and international government and in our day-to-day -day working environment. Importance of the study of economics 1. Intellectual value 2. Practical purpose 3. Government bodies Intellectual value The study of economics makes us realize that the human beings are dependent on one another for their daily needs. It also broadens their outlook and helps them in balanced thinking. Practical Purpose The knowledge of economics helps the consumer to adjust his expenditure with his income so that he derives maximum satisfaction. It helps the producer to make optimum use of the resources so that he can earn profits. Sellers can also determine the prices with the knowledge of economics. Thus, we find that knowledge of economics helps an individual to become a better and more efficient consumer, producer, businessman, etc. Government Bodies The study of economics is helpful for the government to understand the various socio-economic problems such as unemployment, inflation, poverty, etc. Knowledge of economics helps government bodies to frame proper fiscal policies, tax policies, etc. which would help the government to earn revenue for the economy. For example, the graph below explains the growth rate of mobile market in India. Therefore, the study of economics is useful to every individual in the modern economy. Glossary Intellectual value Processing high level of understanding Ability Dependent Person who relies on another Inflation Rise in prices of goods and services Fiscal policies Government policies on revenue and expenditure. Revenue, income. 